Midway USA's The Best Defense Survival. Presented by Midway USA. Just about everything for shooting, reloading, gunsmithing, and hunting. By Insight Technologies, built for battle. And by Sturm Ruger, arms makers for responsible citizens. Here's something you might not have thought about. In a disaster situation, you may have to be your own doctor. You may have to provide medical services for other people. Why? Physicians are not available. There's no way to get medical help to you. In a disaster situation, what are you going to do? In this case, I guess we're going to keep stitching. If the system collapses from, say, a large disaster, what are you going to do, let little Tommy have a laceration in his arm for the next two months, or the next month even? And then he has a bodacious scar for the rest of his life, or he'll have to pay $20,000 or $5,000 to a plastic surgeon just to remove the scar, when all you had to do was just take a needle and thread and sew it together like Grandma used to do, Grandpa, when he'd cut his arm. That's all it is. It's just sewing something together. Well, it takes about maybe three hours to teach him how to suture, and that's using uh, instrument ties and using the suture and um, also the scissors so they can learn how to trim up uh, the flesh that needs to be trimmed up and also using uh, suture staplers. I like to see the grins on their face. If you, you're up in front of a class and it's not necessarily, it doesn't even have to be in the suturing part of it. It's their eyes sort of get bigger when they realize that they're empowered. They know what needs to be done and how to do it and they have more power when they go see a physician because they know what he's going to do. It's not mysterious any longer. There's nothing mysterious about putting a cast on or, or doing minor surgery or, or suturing. If we had a situation where the system went down, now they have the power to actually save a life because an open wound, it can become infected and if it goes systemic, then people die. That's what happened in tsunamis, uh, like over in Thailand, is, is they had all these open wounds and no one, to, no one to close them up, no one to clean them out, and they was, the infection was systemic and, and they died because there was no medical, just minor medical care. It didn't even have to suture them. They didn't know how to do anything like putting on a bandage like we teach. And it, it's, it's not mysterious. What you need is just a few basic instruments, a, um, a knife, a, um, a pair of um, needle holders, a curved kelly, a straight kelly, mayo curved scissors, tissue forceps, and uh, a little probe that you can actually pull little pieces of ribbon through a puncture wound. Other than that, it's just you know five or six instruments. The needle holder is probably the more important one for suturing somebody. and. Um, the scalpel is probably one of the least important ones because you actually use scissors to trim skin and uh, it tends to crush the skin so it's not as much bleeding. For a family of six or seven, you don't need 15 instrument kits, you need one instrument kit. And you don't need you know, three or four uh, casting kits, you just need one. You need to think about, okay, what's your family worth? What is, what is your life worth? What is your health worth? Because if you don't treat these things, they have a, a habit of escalating into something called death. Chuck Fenwick does an amazing job of teaching field medical skills to civilians like all of us. Midway USA's The Best Defense Survival.